I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood, who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents, yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this God Bless the USA Bible. And it's just very important and very important to me. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country, but we're going to get it turned around. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country, and I truly believe that we need to bring them back, and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the biggest problems we have. That's why our country is going haywire. We've lost religion in our country. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back, and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. In the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. Christians are under siege. We must protect content that is pro-God. We love God, and we have to protect anything that is pro-God. We must defend God in the public square and not allow the media or the left-wing groups to silence, censor, or discriminate against us. We have to bring Christianity back into our lives and back into what will be, again, a great nation. Our Founding Fathers did a tremendous thing when they built America on Judeo-Christian values. Now that foundation is under attack, perhaps as never before. What can we do? Stand up, speak out, and pray that God will bless America again. I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get this Bible. We must make America pray again. Pray, get educated, get motivated, and stand with me and the legions of Americans asking God to bless our great nation, to bring our great nation back, and to make America great again. I'm proud to partner with Lee in this offering. He's a very special man, both as a talent, but maybe even more so as a human being. He's very, very special. And I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God bless you, and God bless the USA. Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashimi Awashai, Bashim Awahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. So I just wanted to go into this lesson, which I'm probably going to entitle this Bringing the Bible Back Will Not Save America. Okay, which this is based upon, you know, a video that uh one of the brothers sent on, you know, uh the chat. Which you'll see it, you know, before uh, this video starts, which is, you know, President elect Donald Trump, you know, basically saying that we need to bring the Bible back to uh, American society, you know, and put that uh, at the forefront. OK, one of the things that he said is that, you know, Christianity and the Bible, you know, basically, you know, is lacking from uh you know, our current uh, society. And that's that's something that's very important. We need to bring that back. <laughs> hey, and, and that's not going to save America from what Yahweh Shimei Hawashai has pronounced against it. Okay. First of all, Yahweh Shimei Hawashai is not dealing with you Edomites. Okay. There's nothing you can do to get on the good side of Yahweh Shimei Hawashai. Okay. Your fate is already written. And what's written concerning you Edomites and concerning America, okay, that this, this queendom you have built up is utter destruction and for you Edomites is, is captivity. All right. So we're going to bring this out. Okay. Is this, you, 
DJ Trump, he's toting the scriptures. Well, what, you you Edomites have no business holding the Bible. Okay, here it is. He's promoting this this you know uh, Bible. Okay, probably most likely as a publicity stunt. Okay, because you know he's going to be uh, you know the next president. We'll see what happens. You know, but he's you know doing this. Okay, this is what he stands for. We're going to bring you know the Bible back like how it was. You know when this uh, country was first founded but you look at this damn devil he ain't keeping the laws himself where's his beard at you know and this is why you how about shimmy how shy ain't dealing with you edomites okay you are completely wicked you do your own thing man you don't follow the will of how about shimmy how shy the ways of how about shimmy how shy all right and that's one of the reasons why you how about shimmy how shy is going to destroy you in the manner that he's going to destroy you in okay you are falsely representing the heavenly father and his son okay you portraying to the world that the most high is okay with uh how you conduct yourself okay so you can you know worship the god of the bible and you don't have to wear a, a beard on your face okay you can worship the god of the bible and you can have your society looking like how it looks out here in babylon today all right, this is Psalms 50 and 16. It says, but unto the wicked, the most high saith, which the wicked are you Edomites. Okay, you so-called white people. And DJ Trump is included in that. All right, this is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai talking directly to you Edomites, man. But unto the wicked, the most high saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? What business do you have having that Bible in your hand in the first place? Okay, you follow none of the ways in the scriptures. Okay, the laws in the society aren't even based on the laws in the Bible. All right, although Esau Eden will claim that they are, that's that's false. Okay, this country was not established upon biblical principles. You didn't follow the laws that's in the scriptures. Okay, because if that was the case, you wouldn't have enslaved the so-called uh, Latinos and Native Americans when you came over here. All right, you want to put them in slavery. You also would not have enslaved the so-called Negroes. OK, because according to the scriptures, we're brothers. So you're supposed to treat us as indentured servants, if anything. OK, but this damn devil said, not nah, a hell with that. You, 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 you animals. OK, you below a beast. So I can do to you whatever I want to. That's wicked as hell, man. That ain't part of the laws of the Bible. All right. It says, but unto the wicked, the most I say what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Are that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. You have no business attaching yourself to the scriptures. First of all, the covenants that the Heavenly Father made have nothing to do with you Edomites. Okay, the Most High never gave you the laws. All right? The laws were given to the nation of Israel. You Edomites were nowhere to be found when this was taking place. Okay? This is Psalms 147 and 19. It says, He showed his word unto Jacob, not Esau, Edom. Okay? You damn devils got this later after you, you know, uh, was forced to convert by uh, John High Cranus. OK, then that's when you started calling yourself uh, uh, Jews. All right. And then, you know, further down the line, after you took over, reconquered Europe. OK, you, you took down the Holy Roman Empire. Then you start to, uh, you know, put on yourself Christianity. OK, like you, the people of the Bible, you, you just the, 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 the group of people that's so into the scriptures, you know, which this word was not given to you. The covenants were not given to you. OK, it says he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. It says he have not dealt so with any nation. How about show me how it shine do with you Edomites? OK. He's only dealing with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which those individuals are marginalized in your society. So how are you going to uphold the scriptures when you look at the, the people of the book as less than humans? Okay. It says he has not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments, they have not known him. And that's why the laws of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai have never been implemented here in Babylon. OK, or any society that Esau, Edom has set up because it's not in him to follow the laws of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. The Most High never gave him the laws. OK, since Esau, Edom, you know, uh, came on the scene since his daddy was born. OK, he went astray from the teachers that Isaac taught him. 
he been doing his own thing. Okay, and not at one point in time did the Most High come to him and say, "Look, Esau, you're going down the wrong path. You gotta, you gotta follow this way." Okay, Esau chose to neglect what his uh, forefathers taught him, man. Okay, and Yahabashim Yahushai never revealed it to him again. All right, it says he has not dealt so with any nation and asked for his judgments. They have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai. You damn devils don't know the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? You worship the spiritual demon Satan. And what this damn devil is doing is something that the devil would do. Okay? He's holding the scriptures. He's saying we need to bring back Christianity and religion to America. We got to, you know, bring the Bible back to America to make this country great again. You never follow the scriptures. <laughs> okay? You have never implemented the laws of Yahabashim Yahushai. All right? You reading the 23rd Psalms is not you bringing the Bible or making the Bible a part of American culture, man. Okay. This is back in Psalms 50 and 16. It says, but unto the wicked, the most High saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction is damn devil's a, pr a perfect example of that, man. Okay. Seeing thou hatest instruction. The instructions are found in the scriptures. The most I told you how you're supposed to, you know, uh, present yourself. OK, you can't wear whatever you want to wear or, you know, uh, come presenting yourself however you want to present yourself. There's a certain way you're supposed to present your hair. OK, the hair on your head and the hair on your face. You can't just do whatever you want to. All right. One of the things that's commanded by you, how about Shimmy, how shy is that you wear a beard on your face. None of these presents have ever had beards. Okay, because that's not an uh, Edomite tradition. That's not an Edomite custom. Okay, the customs that are established in Babylon, they're based on the Greco-Roman customs. This is Rome all over again as well, by the way. Okay, but back in Greece and Rome, they didn't wear beards. All right, Alexander the Crete, he, he shaved his beard off. He ordered his men that was in his army to shave their beards as well. That's an Edomite custom. Okay, the complete opposite of what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai commanded the nation of Israel to do. Okay, so the, one of the first things that should be implemented is this damn devil should sign a law saying all men should grow their beards. Okay, if you don't grow your beard, there's going to be a punishment. You're going to get jail time. Okay, that would be bringing the Bible back to America. But if you pass a law like that, these Edomites will go wild, man. They'll lose their damn mind. You'll see protests. In the street, you just had some niggas out there too, okay. But the main people you'll see riding will be Esau. Esau don't want to grow his beard, man, okay. Esau don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Shimei Hawashai and his ways, okay. It says, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee, and that's what this damn devil has been doing since the inception of this place. He came over here on the guise of spreading quote unquote Christianity and the Bible and the knowledge of God. But he wasn't following the Heavenly Father when he came over here. Okay, when he first set his red foot on this side of the world, okay, what he bought with him is his, his, his freakisms, okay, and his, his murdering and, and, and stealing ways, which the Bible tells you he ain't supposed to steal. <laughs> okay. It says, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him. So he sees somebody still, he 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 want to get on board with it. Okay, well, well, what you doing? Hey, let, me, let me get in. You know, let me get some of that too. I ain't going to say nothing. When the Bible tells you thou shalt not steal. Okay. Him being in this country is against the laws of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right. It says, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and has been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil. And thy tongue frame of deceit. And this damn devil is being deceitful here as well. Okay? He ain't going to bring the scriptures back. All right? Because these damn devils, they don't follow the scriptures. They don't follow the Bible. All right? They don't worship Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. Okay? It says, Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frame of deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son, which is talking about this smear campaign that he has been, uh, you know, on since he came over here, okay? Since he established, you know, uh, his presence on this side of the world, he's been smearing 
his brother, slandering his brother, which who is your brother? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And unto this day, that smear campaign continues to go on. All right? It's not rooted in any fact. The nigga just hates you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He hates Jacob because Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai chose us over him. He got a problem with it, man. So one of his jobs is to make you look like the worst thing going. He's successfully done that. He continues to do it. All right? At no point in time is he going to, you know, put on the airwaves, national television. Oh, these are the, the, the actual descendants of the Israelites here. These are the God's chosen people. These are the greatest people on the planet Earth. When you see an Israelite, okay, you're supposed to bow down to them. Okay, these, these, these are literally our rulers. All right. So you should treat them as such. He ain't going to do that. <laughs> All right. It says, thou citizen speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Okay, see, these things happened in the past. All right, and Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai didn't say anything. Okay, but the difference between then and now is that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, so he's, he's saying something. He's addressing the madness of you damn devils. Okay, through his service to prophets. All right. And that's what makes this time different than any other time. That's what makes what this damn devil doing more significant than any other time. Any other president came up and said, oh, we got to bring the Bible back. OK, because we basically at the end, you see what's going on all over the world. And then all of a sudden, this damn devil wants to come and try to say we're we going to you know, re-implement the scriptures back into society. So, you know, to make America great again. First of all, too late for you damn devils. All right. And the Most High is not going to allow you damn devils to repent. He don't accept repentance from you, you Edomites. All right. This is Hosea 6 and 5. It says, Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. Yahweh Shai already sent the prophets out to condemn you. Okay. There is no message of repentance for Esau coming from the mouths of the servants of Yahweh Shai. That ain't part of the message. Okay. We ain't telling you, Edomite, oh, yeah, come to the Heavenly Father, present yourself. Okay, change your mind towards the Heavenly Father. All right. You should forsake the wicked deeds that you're doing. Okay, oh, the Most High will spare America <laughs> if you follow the scriptures, if you follow the laws of the Heavenly Father. This judgment will, will pass over you. The Most High will repent from the judgment. That's not a part of the message of the prophets, man. Okay. The message that we preach is utter destruction to Babylon the Great. Okay, how about Shem Yahweh Shai ain't going to have no mercy on you, you damn devils, nor is he going to have any mercy on America. The Most High hates this place, and he hates you damn devils. Okay? It says, Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth. So you've been spiritually slain, now it's time for the physical to uh, happen. Okay? Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai going to smite you with all kind of plagues. Okay, and the ultimate plague is going to be the thermonuclear destruction. All right. And then after that, you damn devils are going into captivity. But it's over for you. Okay. No amount of you turning to the Heavenly Father, quote unquote, is going to get you to, you know, uh, get you out of the situation that you're in. Okay. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is not going to forgive anything you Edomites have done. Okay. You can, you can give every individual in Babylon a, a Bible, okay? That's not going to save you from what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has in store for you damn devils, man, okay? You can even implement, implement the laws, <laughs> all right? You can pass laws saying that the adultery is illegal, or you got to wear your beard, you can't worship other gods, or anybody that's worshiping other gods, we're going to do away with them, okay? We're going to lock you up, all right? You can do things like that, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is still going to destroy your red ass, Okay, because the Most High is not dealing with you Edomites. Okay, and you're going to find this out the hard way, man. Okay, because a lot of you you bug outs out there, you, you anti-Christians, you actually believe that Donald Trump has been set up to give America grace. Okay, <laughs> the Most High is giving you uh, grace from the destruction or any kind of judgment with DJ Trump. See, oh, look, he's, he's pushing the Bible. No, the other uh, presidents didn't do that. He's still the damn devil. All right. He's still an Edomite, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with Edomites, okay? It says, Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. So, 
Yahweh Shemi Hawashai sends the prophets out, okay, and then the judgments come after that, okay, and this is Esau Edom's last ditch effort to try to get the plagues to pass over them. Are we going to bring the Bible back to America? So what? <laughs> okay, hey, hey, you can do that, right? Yahweh Shemi Hawashai is still going to destroy your ass, okay, because the Heavenly Father is not dealing with you Edomites, man, okay, there is no repentance for you damn devils, all right? You just gonna have to deal with the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna bring upon you. Okay? Cause you you gonna have a lot of Edomites, all right, that's gonna be holding the, the Bible when those missiles drop, man. <laughs> they ain't getting delivered. They ain't getting beamed up, okay? The missiles gonna be flying. You're gonna have Edomites holding the scriptures and they're gonna burn. All right? The most high ain't gonna spare them. Okay, like those uh bug outs at that GOCC thing. You gonna have a certain group of Edomites that's gonna turn to the Heavenly Father and you know uh, renounce the sins of their fathers. That ain't gonna happen, okay? It's back in uh, Psalms 50 and 21. It says, "These things hast thou done, and I kept silence." You have been doing this wickedness, okay? Since you established this country, since you brought your red ass over here to this side of the world, you've been doing all manner of wickedness and evil. And misrepresenting Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, blaspheming his name. Okay, and Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai ain't never addressed you damn devils. Okay, until now, more recently. All right, beginning with, you know, uh, Abba Bivens, Rabbi Abba Bivens. That's when this thing started. Okay, and now we in 2024, and yo, you damn devils still getting cursed out. All right, Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai ain't changed the message towards you damn devils, man. Okay. It says, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, which is the reason why these Edomites have that mentality, okay? This is the reason why DJ Trump thinks that if he brings the Bible back to America, that's going to make America great again. Because when you was doing your wickedness, Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai ain't judge you, okay? But now we in a time of you damn devils being judged, man, okay? You took the, the Heavenly Father's uh, silence as him being in agreement with you, okay? But the Most High has something else going on. He had to punish us, okay? So he couldn't judge you, all right? Or wasn't going to judge you because there were certain things that had to happen to us. And Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai was using you as the agent to, you know, execute that judgment upon us. So he couldn't take you out, all right? Hey, but our captivity is over. Our punishment is over. Now it's time for you damn devils to get your just due. It says, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and you've been getting reproved. Okay? you getting reproved unto this day. All right? But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. See, the, the, the mere fact that you see so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans standing on the street corner, that's a condemnation to you damn devils. Okay, that's a sign to you damn devils that Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai is not going to have mercy on you. Okay, which is the reason why you read Revelation 11 chapter, they seen the dead bodies three days and a half. Okay, and after that three days and a half, they stood on their feet. Great fear fell upon them because they knew what that meant, that really meant. Okay, that meant that Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai ain't going to have no mercy on you devils, man. The Most High was never with you. Okay. The Most High didn't take the rulership and give it to you from Jacob so, so you can be the chosen one, okay? The Most High has always been dealing with the nation of Israel, okay? And us standing on our feet and cursing your ass out means that you got to pay for everything that you did, all right? And there ain't nothing you can do to get out of it, okay? The Most High ain't giving you damn devils a way out. The only way out for you is destruction and captivity. And then subsequently extermination. That's how you getting out of this, man. <laughs> All right. It says, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And that's what you see taking place right now. Okay. And at no point in time has Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai commanded us to tell you damn devils to repent. Okay. You ain't going to repent anyway. All right. Look at this damn devil, DJ Trump. He's sitting there with the scriptures in his hand. Now, at one point in time, he thought, oh, I should grow a beard. Oh, the, 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 the Bible, it says that you're supposed to grow your beard, so I'm going to grow my beard. He ain't never said that, man. Okay? And that's that's the smallest thing that you can do. Okay? But he ain't even going to do that. All right? Because he's the damn devil. All right? 
This is Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Esau is completely outside of the temple, man. He's the, if you, you want to get the furthest away from the heavenly father as you can, just look, look at an Edomite. Okay. The last thing on Esau's mind is what the heavenly father wants. All right. It says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. That's how low an Edomite is, man. Okay. He sold his birthright, which the birthright is invaluable. You have a rulership over the earth. You uh, eventually entering into an everlasting covenant with the creator of the heavens and the earth himself. Okay. The most high being with you and your seed forever. He gave that away for a piece of fucking meat, man. Okay, that's a this a low dude. This a this a it's a beastly dude, man, to do something like that. Okay, completely void of you know uh, right-handed spirituality, man. A, a heathen wouldn't have did no shit like that. <laughs> okay, oh, dude, I'll get to connect with the the true living God. Oh no, no, I'm not selling it. A heathen wouldn't do that shit, man. Okay. It says, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Yahabashim Yahawashai rejected you damn devils. Okay? So you turn it back now. Okay? Well, you ain't even turning back. You turning to the Heavenly Father now is not going to get you in the good graces of the Heavenly Father. Most high never been dealing with you damn devils. Okay? It says, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So there's nothing that you damn devils can do to get back with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay, the Most High ain't dealing with you. You had your opportunity, you sold it. Okay, the, the birthright was so worthless to you that you sold it for some meat, some uncooked meat. At that, okay. So definitely, you doing this now is not gonna save you, man. <laughs> this is Psalms 36. And one, it says, the transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of the Most High before his eyes. And you damn devils have no fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Just look at how your society is. Okay, now one point in time as any of these damn devils collectively got up and tried to do something about what's going on here. Okay, you got, you know, sodomites walking up and down. You hear a little bit of, you know, displeasure from that. Okay, but one of the main things that you got going on is the treatment of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, so you got Edomites that's against uh, Sodomites. All right, they got a problem with that. You know, they got a problem with uh, Transformers, but they do not have a problem with how this society views you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, with you heathen, you're supposed to look at us a certain way. You're supposed to revere us, and that's not happening here. Ain't none of these damn devils going to sit down and, and, and you know, advocate for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be looked at and acknowledged as the people of the Heavenly Father. That ain't never gonna happen. Okay? So if it was a righteous Edomite out here, that's what they would be doing. Okay? One of the things that they would be doing, as well as following the laws of Yahweh, by Shemi Yahweh Shai, and they ain't doing that. Okay? It says, the transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of the Most High before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. He, he, he puffs himself up, man. Okay? In his mind, he thinks that he's, you know, something good to behold. Okay? He thinks he's the best thing since sliced bread. When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has a different opinion of you damn devils. Okay? It says, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He have left off to be wise and to do good. Because like I was saying earlier, this damn devil had the opportunity to go down that right-handed path. Okay? And when he was a serpent. Okay? When he was Cain. Okay? Because the serpent, he knew both sides. He knew the left-hand side and the right-handed side. He chose to go down that left-handed path. Okay? Cain as well. Who was, it? Who was Cain's dad? Cain's dad was Adam. Adam had the ways of the Heavenly Father. Okay, the Most High gave him the law, statutes, and commandments. So the way Cain was brought up was in the law, statutes, and commandments. What did he do? He went and left. He said, forget that, man. I, I ain't following the ways of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to go down this path. Okay, we're we going to deal with the spiritual demon, Satan. All right, and Esau, Edom is doing the same thing. That's Cain in the reincarnation. Okay, so like the scripture says, he has left off to be wise. You see it right now. 
Where is the wisdom here in this society, man? None of these damn devils, none of these rulers move with wisdom, okay? And the wisdom that I'm referring to is the wisdom that's in the scriptures, all right? All the policies, all the laws, all the decision making is completely contrary to what Yahweh Shimi Shai or how Yahweh Shimi Shai will want a, his, a society to be ran, man. Okay, this this damn devil does what he wants to do. Okay, and then he got the nerve to parade the Bible around like he actually believes in the Heavenly Father. Okay, like he actually respects the words of Yahweh Shimi Shai. It says he defies mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Okay, and this damn devil does not abhor evil. Okay, he doesn't stray from committing wickedness, man. He go full steam ahead. All right, and that's just how this damn devil is. Okay, that's how you have Bashimi Habashai made him. Okay, and he ain't gonna change. All right, which is another reason why he can't repent. Okay, this is Jeremiah 13 and 23. It says, can an Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? And the answer to that is no. Okay, the leopard can't take his spots away. All right, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai made them that way. Okay, it says, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. And Esau Edom has been programmed to do evil. Okay. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai ain't gonna accept no fake ass repentance from you damn devils, okay? In Esau's mind, him repenting, right? Him coming back to the Heavenly Fathers, the, what that damn devil said on the video, printing the Bible with the Constitution in it and a Bill of Rights and then distributing it to the, the, the citizens or putting it uh, up available for you to purchase, okay? That's you turning back. Now you, you just read it, okay? <laughs> you ain't gotta implement it. Okay, well, the, the mere fact that this damn devil merged the Constitution with the Bible is wicked as hell. Okay, those two documents have nothing to do with each other, man. Okay, the, the words that's in the Bible are completely separate from the rights that this damn devil came with out of his own mind and wrote down that, that Constitution. Okay, the First Amendment, you don't find that in the Bible. Where it say you can say whatever the hell you want to say and worship whoever the hell you want to worship, man. Okay. And this damn devil think you how about Shimmy how Shai gonna have some kind of mercy on him. You out of your mind. Alright. This is Malachi 1, and I'll start at 1. It says the burden of the word of the Lord, Yahweh about Shimmy how Shai to Israel by, by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, Yahweh about Shimmy how Shai. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? And that's a lot of, you know, uh, a major question that Jake has. We tell him, you know. You the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, one of the questions that Jake will ask, well, if the Most High loves us, we, you know, such a great people, why do we go through what we went through? Well, you piss the Heavenly Father off, the Most High punished you, okay? Plain and simple, all right? And then that make Jake feel some kind of way, you know? It says, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai? yet I loved Jacob. Okay, yeah, the Most High gave the birthright to Jacob. Okay, which really, when you look at it, okay, based upon customs, we weren't supposed to get the birthright. All right, the firstborn gets the principal blessing. So the blessing, according to custom, was really supposed to go to Esau. All right, but the Most High said, Nah, I ain't dealing with this nigga. Okay, <laughs> he ain't getting my blessing, man. All right, I, I've, I've chosen Jacob. Okay, so I'm gonna make it to where Jacob gonna get the blessing. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai did exactly that. Okay, that's how much Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai loves you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He could have did you like Esau, man. Okay, he could have said, okay, look, you know, I really wanted Jacob, but hey, Esau came out first, you know? So, hey, uh, you know, according, and this is a, a law that's in the scriptures, man. Well, so let's get there real quick. According to the law, the firstborn is supposed to get the principal blessing. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai circumvented that for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans' sake, man, because he loved you, all right? And you got a nigga that talks shit about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and how much love the Heavenly Father has for us. You know, if he loved us so much, why he put us through slavery? You know? This is Deuteronomy 21 and 15. It says, if a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, 
both the beloved and the hated. And if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath. Okay, when it, just like what Jacob and Esau, okay, Isaac told him, you know, Esau to go get uh, the venison from the field. Okay, he could cook it up, and then after that, he would give him a blessing. All right, he would divvy up the inheritance, basically. Okay, this is an actual custom amongst our people. It says, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. So he can't switch it up. And this is how important inheritance is to, you know, uh, our people, man. Okay. So it's actual law that you can't, the firstborn, your first firstborn, he gets the principal blessing. That's actually in the law, man. Okay. Here it is, Yahweh by Shumi Shai said, I ain't, uh, nah, Esau, I don't care if that nigga the firstborn, that nigga ain't right. Okay, I, I, I ain't dealing with him. Okay, I'm dealing with Jacob. So we're going to set it up to where Jacob going to get the first, uh, going to get the principal blessing. Okay, that's how much Yahweh by Shumi Shai loves you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And how much he hates Esau. All right. And by the way, Isaac loved Esau. Okay, so not only was Esau his firstborn, he he had favor in Isaac's sight. Isaac loved him. Okay, so he's like, it's my my you know my favorite son. Okay, hey, hey I'm gonna give him that blessing, man. Okay, hey, go get that venison. Hey, we, we gonna we gonna do the deal right here. All right, that was in Isaac's mind, but Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai had other plans. Yahweh had other plans. Okay, it says uh, then it shall be. When he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, when he give up the inheritance, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated. Okay, so his favorite son, he cannot put him up, or the, the son that came or the, the woman that he loves more. He can't put her over his actual firstborn, even, although it came from a woman that he, he doesn't like very much. You know, that doesn't matter. The firstborn is a firstborn. Okay. It says, then, shall, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. So the son of the hated, he was born first. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he hath. Okay? Because the firstborn gets the principal blessing from the father. All right? And then the uh, other son, they get, you know, their uh, portion. Okay, but the the firstborn, all right, they get a, they get a bigger blessing than the rest of the children. That's part of the customs, okay? It says, by giving him a double portion of all that he has, for he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his, okay? So this is how important that uh, custom was, okay, for the firstborn. If you're the firstborn son... Hey, you getting the inheritance, man. But see how about Shimmy Howard Shai said, nah, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing it like that. I don't, I don't fuck with Esau. Okay? I'm rocking with Jacob. All right? So that just shows you how much love you how about Shimmy Howard Shai has for so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? This is back in Malachi. I'm going to read uh, the second verse again. It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, you how about Shimmy Howard Shai. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Okay, and we just seen how Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai showed his love for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, for Jacob. Okay, he wasn't the firstborn. He wasn't even supposed to get the blessing. All right? But Esau rejected it. Okay, so Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai set it up to, well, he despised it, Salakia. Esau despised the birthright, so Yahweh by Shimei Shai set it up to where Jacob would get it. Okay? But the Most High could have just been like, oh, so he, he despises it. Well, he's going to get the blessing still. That, 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 that's, that's how it's supposed to go. Just like with the law that we just read, Deuteronomy the 21st chapter. Okay? That son, the firstborn son, okay, the actual firstborn from the hated uh, 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 wife, 
He might not like what his, his dad got going on. I don't care about what my dad got. This 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 double portion of inheritance. I don't even care about that, man. I don't want that. Okay. If I could, I would sell it. I don't, I don't even care about it, man. He's still getting the the, uh, the the double portion though. Okay. But see, Esau had that mentality, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai took it away from him. Okay. So the water Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. He could he could have did you like Esau, man. <laughs> It says, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. And this, uh, you know, Esau was completely through. All right. And he said, look, hey, we're going we're gonna to return and, and, and build our society back. Okay. It says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. So any society that Esau Edom sets up, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to destroy it. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has vowed this, okay? Which means what? It's over for you devils, all right? No amount of you trying to turn to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to get the Heavenly Father to change his mind concerning you, all right? He already rejected you from getting the blessing, and you were the firstborn. The Most High said, nah, 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 I ain't doing that, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm rocking with Jacob, man. Okay, I ain't dealing with this red nigga, okay? It says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. So any society that Esau Edom sets up, number of wickedness is going to come out of there. And America is no uh, exception to the, 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 the rule. All right. It's, this, this is the, the pinnacle of wickedness over here in America, man. Okay. It says, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai, hath indignation forever. When we look that word indignation up. The definition is anger aroused by something perceived as unjust or unworthy. Okay, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he been deemed you damn devils unjust and unworthy. Going all the way back to the beginning with your, your daddy Cain. Okay, Cain got rejected. That nigga of sacrifice got rejected. Okay, and then moving forward in the future, you Edomites, you got rejected too by the Heavenly Father. You're going to get rejected again. Here it is, you, this damn devil, DJ Trump, he's basically trying to present himself to you, how about Shimmy, how was shy, okay, and saying, look, hey, you know, we, we want to be joined unto you in the covenant, okay, that's why we got the book, all right, but you you already mixed that bullshit that you came up with in the covenant, okay, that, that bullshit constitution that you came up with, you, you, you already off, man, <laughs> you off already, okay, you, you doing the same shit. Yo, 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 daddy Kane did, man. Mixing your own mind with the, the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, yeah, we want to enter into a covenant with you, Lord. But hey, hey, check out, check out what we came up with. Look at our constitution. We want you to honor this too. Okay? Just like Cain with them them fucking fruits and vegetables, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah ain't dealing with you damn devils. Okay? You're gonna be completely destroyed, man. This is Amos 1 and 11. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. So you, you, there ain't no way you damn devils can get out of what's getting ready to happen to you. Okay? DJ Trump ain't going to save you. All right? It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did pair, did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever, even unto this day. Okay, these damn devils still got in their mind that they want to exterminate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. While this damn devil's holding the Bible. Okay, he's thinking about ways of how to exterminate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, showing you how wicked this damn devil is. It says, but I will send a fire upon Teman, 
which shall devour the palaces of Basra, which Basra is America. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, going to completely wipe this place from off the face of the earth with those thermonuclear missiles. Okay, and it's already been written, man. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to destroy this place. He's going to destroy America, aka Babylon the Great. This place is going to be wiped from off the face of the earth. And there's nothing you damn devils can do about it, man. No amount of you trying to read the scriptures. Okay, no amount of you printing Bibles is going to stop what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to do to you damn devils, man. Okay, this will be the last scripture. We could close it out with this. This is Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory, which this angel is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. It's fallen and has become the habitation of devils. And Babylon the Great is talking about America. Okay. So which, what he heard, Yahweh Shai said, okay, basically, America the Great is fallen, is fallen. All right. You could put America in there. And has become the habitation of devils. And the habitation of devils is talking about the desert creatures that's going to dwell here after those missiles go off. Okay. It's not referring to the inhabitants of this place, okay? You can't use this scripture to say that Esau is a devil. Although he is a devil, this scripture is not talking about that, all right? And it's become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come up out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, which these words are going to go out to the elect of the nation of Israel. OK, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and their descendants. All right. Because you got Israelites that don't look like, you know, your typical so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. They look like other nations. All right. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. But ain't no actual Edomites going to get caught up in this. OK, these words are going to go out to Esau, Edom. The most High ain't going to say this and then a, a real a, a lineal Edomite. It's going to hear, oh, oh, I'm getting beamed up. And then you get the nigga getting beamed up. No, nah, it ain't going to happen, man. <laughs> okay. Any individual that hears this and they get delivered, this is a, a lineal descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. It says, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquity. So it don't matter how many Bibles you damn devils get, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai has remembered your iniquities. It's time for you to be judged. Okay. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much hath she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And that's the mentality of these Babylonians. They actually believe that no kind of adversity is going to come to them. OK, they actually believe that war will never touch the soils of America. We had a civil war. Yeah, that, that happened. But a conflict between America and another nation is never going to touch the shores of America. You highly mistaken. OK, because Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, these other nations that have nuclear capabilities, they will shoot their nuclear arsenals on you. And it's going to destroy this place, man. OK, this World War Three is going to be like no other war world war that has taken place okay it's one of the major things that's going to make it different from uh these other world wars that obviously you know it's going to be thermonuclear war but america's going to get touched okay america didn't really you know see any parts or, or any effects from world war one and world war two as far as uh infrastructure goes you know being invaded the war was happening over there in europe OK, and in World War II was happening in Europe and Asia, other parts of the world. It didn't come over here to America. You Americans is over here dwelling peacefully. Only thing you was worried about, you know, or maybe some attack may happen. OK, but the only real news or way you heard about the war was through the news. 
You didn't have no German troops come over here, no Italian troops come over here, okay? There were no uh, uh, Japanese troops marching on the soils of America. You didn't experience none of that. You didn't exper experience the Nazis coming in here, okay, and taking New York, all right? You know, you're under a Nazi uh, regime. You didn't experience that, okay? But this time it's going to be different, all right? It says, uh, I said a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, power who judgeth her. And that's exactly what's going to happen. This place is going to get burned up. And who's going to be responsible for destroying this place? The God of the Bible. Okay, the same Bible that that damn devil DJ Trump got in his hand. Okay, these are the words that have been pronounced against Babylon. All right, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to bring this to pass. Okay, you know, let's bring this out. You know, as Noah said, the other one would be the last scripture, but we will close it out on this. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 46 and 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning because your judgment has already been pronounced. Okay, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ain't going to change it. All right, you damn devils have already been condemned. It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Okay, John seen the destruction of America. Okay, 2,000 years ago. He already seen it. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has already declared the destruction of of America. So regardless of whether you Edomites try to repent or not, that, that, that don't matter to the Heavenly Father. His words have already been written. Okay, the words have already gone out. It says, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executed my counsel from a far country, yea, I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass I have proposed it, I will also do it. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy America and you Edomites. All right, so I just wanted to go into that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.